Hi guys and welcome to a new Darkest Dungeon video. This time it's going to be just the Hamlet phase. So if you haven't watched the first video, just watch it because uh, you know we, we went through our first quest. The Hamlet phase takes place after each quest that we do. So we are all a little uh, damaged. Sh shaken up. Shaken up. <laughs> mm. And so we are going to uh, Hello guys. Hello. So we are going yeah. to now try and heal uh, heal our characters in the Hamlet phase. So as you can see, we, we kept our characters after the first quest. So we still have wounds, we still have stress, we still have quirks, negative quirks. And uh, the first thing is uh, when you, after you leave the dungeon, uh, your uh, affliction becomes uh, negative quirks. That's right and your stress counter turns back to the black face. Oh, there you go. that's good. So you no longer, you don't risk a heart attack anymore. 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 Well, not immediately at least. Mm, yes. <laughs> All right, so what is your neg negative quirk? I became clumsy. Oh, he's clumsy. Oh, as I if mean, you were not already. I mean, I mean, I know that in real life, Air One is clumsy. That's for sure. We, we can't. He? Yeah, he is. Yeah. So I'm not surprised he got this one. Uh, and clumsy means that every time you receive uh, damage. a damage. damage, you will debuff for one turn. And that means the enemies can crit, crit me more easily. Yeah, that absolutely. Seems like extra damage. So you have two quirks now. What is your quirk, uh, uh, Severine? My quirk is fragile. So oh, fragile. Is the exact opposite of on guard, which is my positive quirk that I have to replace. You remove, replace. so Severine had two negative quirk and one positive quirk. When you draw a new negative quirk, it replaces your positive quirk. So now you don't have your positive quirk anymore and you will get a third one. And fragile means every time you receive damage, you get plus one damage. Yay. <laughs> so you have three. Great. Three negative quirks, which means next time you you get uh, a negative quirk, you are completely that's, crazy. That's madness. That's madness. Yeah. When we arrive uh, at the hamlet, uh, we need to draw uh, uh, a town event. Uh, we'll use so. So Antoine, please shuffle the town event deck. You done? All right. Here it is. So let's see what we have. Traveling merchants. So each hero can choose one of their provision dice to be whatever they want for next round. So this is actually very good. That means when we roll our two provision dice, we will get to choose the one we want, just like we rolled a DD. Uh, so this mitigates uh, randomness for provision dice. So this is pretty good. And as you can see, it also tells how many days we can enjoy the Hamlet. So two days is not much it's from two to four uh, and usually when you have like a good uh, a positive effect you have less days to enjoy and when you have a negative one you have more days so we had a pretty good one so we only have two days for uh, the uh, the hamlet phase so we're gonna put the counter the little torch here on two that means we only have two days uh, to enjoy the hamlet so we keep this here um, also let's rem remind you that uh, because we have the necromancer quest this is the, the the boss we drew at the beginning of our quest it was the necromancer so we have his card and there is an effect for the town uh, uh, phase and uh, this effect is graveyard is blocked so that means throughout for for all the level one quests when the necromancer is here we cannot access the graveyard so we're going to put his miniature on the graveyard so he's blocking it the, what would the graveyard uh, usually do uh, it would allow us to gain a virtue because you go to the graveyard uh, you want revenge for your deceased for your departed so you get an automatic virtue but that means also that you start on the red side of your stress that means if you reach 10 stress during the dungeon you die of a heart attack so that's very risky but 
that's not going to be an uh, option for us because uh, the necromancer is blocking uh, the uh, graveyard. And not only him, but also the caretaker is also going to block one of the hamlet locations. So each of the hamlet location gives you uh, some bonuses that you can use and spend. Sometimes you have to spend money, sometimes you have to spend experience, but it it will help you cure, uh, heal, or uh, any other positive effect. But every day the caretaker will block one, uh, one of these uh, locations. So we need to roll a d10 and see what happens. And that's the time that after all, so you can do whatever you want. So you roll seven. the seven. Uh, seven. We just look at uh, the little uh, hamlet numbers. here. The little numbers. So it's gonna be the guild. The guild. So the guild is not accessible, which is a shame because the guild allows you to spend, uh, as you can see, to spend uh, some experience to either level up for three XP. You can level up your heroes for two XP. You can level up one of your skills no matter your levels you, your skills can level up anyway so we're gonna use either you know we should use either this card uh, which is the caretaker card uh, or we could use a possible stretch goal guys uh, I think it's worth uh, <laughs> showing you a, a stretch goal so I'm not sure we will have this miniature but for this video let's assume that this campaign is going to do well and that we will unlock uh, the caretaker uh, uh, miniature. So let's use his miniature to block the guild. So we'll put him here. That means we cannot go there this day. So he's blocking the guild and the necromancer is blocking the graveyard. Now, we have to, uh, to do something during our day. Uh, depending on our stance as as you, we we kept the same stance as uh, the one we had at the end of uh, when we decided to leave uh, the, the, dungeon. the dungeon so I'm first crusader is on first stance uh, aggressive stance highwayman is second uh, the vessel is third and the jester is fourth so this is in this order that we're gonna go and do things so I start first what do I? What can I do? I can either use my hero uh, Hamlet power, which is here, which means we lose one day, but everybody recovers five stress. So if I do that, we will only have one day left to do something. Or I can simply go on the board on the Hamlet and choose uh, one location to heal or do something. So. What do you think? What do you guys think? Do you, do you think we we should leave it to one day, or do you want to take advantage of the Hamlet for two days? Uh, I think about using my own Hamlet power this turn because it will uh, heal one stress to each one of you, as well as give you a buff for three turns for for the next quest. for the next quest. Yeah, so I'll use my first day uh, doing that. And if possible, I would use my second day to relieve some stress. Yeah, I think that's that's my plan. Yeah, I think we will need at least two days yeah. to handle some things on our. Yeah. Room. I need two days. To you you all need two days. Two days. Yes. So, of course, I could do that without your approval, but it wouldn't be a good idea because it really uh, you know it's a cooperative game, and then that means uh, you would let me bleed next yeah, time. I could choose to not heal you. I know, I know you yes. could. I know you could. So I'm not going to use my uh, town power. I will simply choose, and I'm first to choose because I'm first on the stance row. I will simply choose uh, something. So I'm badly wounded. Um, and I have lots of stress as well. Okay, I will first heal. Um, oh, I have only two days, but then. I will be first to choose, so I will relieve my stress the next time. So I will go to the sanatorium. So if you look at the sanatorium, for one gold, I can heal three. For three gold, I can heal 10. And for two gold, I can remove a disease. So I'll go here and block it for the next uh, guy. And I will spend uh, 
three three gold and we have like plenty so i will i will yeah i will spend three gold and this will help me for 10 so instead of 13 i now only have uh three wounds left which is much better so my turn is done who's second on the it's the highway man it's my turn and i think i would likely uh, get rid of one negative quirk one or two one or two depends on you the could price two. you could get rid of two if you go to uh the abbey the abbey uh for five gold you can remove two negative quirks well, you want to go there yeah and so she goes well the highwayman goes to the abbey and you spend how much you spend five, five gold yeah. and you get rid of two negative quirks so you only have one left so you can choose the ones you get rid of and the ones you keep, right? Okay, uh, next on the so, line is the yeah. Vestal. Now it's my turn, and as I said, I'm going to use my Amulet Power. So you, both of you uh, heal one stress, and you all, all get... All of us. Yeah, all of you. All of us heal one all stress. All of you get uh, one stress back, and a buff for three turns for the next For quest. the next... I haven't removed clumsy yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have buff. We all get buff. Okay. Uh, you get buff too? So no, I don't. That means okay. you do not go on the hamlet. You use your yeah, hamlet power. I stay here. Yeah. So the next one and last one is the jester. What do you want to do, jester? I think I should grab some provisions for the road because the only other thing I need is to remove some quirks and I can't right now. So I'd rather get some provisions for the road. Why can't you? Because of the highwayman! And I'm the selfish one! I'm not anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna take provisions for the group. Okay. Because I'm such a nice guy. So you will go... To the survivalists. To the survivalists. So and you get here. One gold. You spend one gold. And you will get... An one extra dice. An extra dice. So instead of rolling eight dice, eight provision dice, we will get to roll nine. Mm -hmm. And we will each choose one side as we want. Which is... a much better okay so we finished with day one so we will go now we go to day two yes yeah, so we only have one day left so this is the last thing we we all take our minutes back and we roll another die to know where the character okay. is gonna go eight so eight is on the blacksmith okay so the blacksmith we can't go so the blacksmith uh, gives us uh, uh, either dodge or damage boost but just one uh, so we won't be able to get that uh, if we went there uh, we could get some damage or dodge boost but just once yeah okay so we won't go to the blacksmith for now let me just also say something that we can do you know we have like we still have uh, 26 gold left for 20 gold, we can level up a building. If we do that, so this is not the final board, uh, the final board will be double layered so we can uh, level up the buildings. If we level up the buildings, they will heal and do more than this, right? So for instance, uh, if we did it on the uh, stagecoach, uh, we would have, instead of two heroes, two life, extra life, we would have uh, three extra life for our campaign and that also reminds me that uh, the, the experience points we get here we have also to put two experience uh, points on the stagecoach that means uh, if we take a, a new hero because one of us have, has died uh, this hero will have this um, amount of experience points to spend and uh, this will accumulate with each new quest so the the, the new hero that we get is always uh, at the same uh, pretty level. much the same level as yeah, we are as okay so uh, the tech caretaker is here let's now uh, see what we do in the same order so this time you know I'm at three wounds I think I want to relieve some stress so I'm gonna go there uh, where is the stress? It's in the tavern. It's in the tavern. Yeah, yeah, of course it's in the tavern. <laughs> when you drink some ale, uh, you you forget about your stress and, and the rest. So I will go to the tavern and uh, 
For three gold, I can relieve six stress. So I will do that. Spend three gold. So we are only, yeah, have less and less gold, but, and relieve three stress, right? Yes. Uh, no, you remove six. Six. Six stress. Okay. All right, uh, I'm done with my second day at the Hamlet, so I'm, I feel much better. I now have three stress and three wounds. I'm much better, in a much better state. So, who's second? The second is the Highwayman. Where do you want to go this time? So, my stress is pretty low. It's fine. I can keep the disease. I think... Um, you want to heal? I want to heal because I'm at death door. You're at death door. You have to heal. I have to heal, so I'm going to go to the sanitarium. Okay. Spend and you want to spend... three gold to heal uh, ten. Oh, much better. So, now you're no longer at death door. Yeah, you're at... Can shape. So, you can remove yeah. your dice uh, at death door. And you have now two wounds only. Okay. Uh, next is the Vestal. Yeah, uh, so I was going to relieve some stress, but unfortunately someone's taken my favorite table at the tavern already, so well, I can't do that. Being no. at first tense has also some advantages, not only <laughs> disadvantages. Yeah, most notably the disadvantage of not getting healed. Well, I mean... Uh, so I go to the survivalist and uh, pay one to get another extra provision die. Oh, okay. So we have a new provision dice that we can add here and that we will roll. So instead of rolling eight provision dice, we're we'll going to roll ten. ten provision dice and we will get to choose four. Four, uh, four, of, them. Yeah. four of them. Very good. Uh, and finally... The jester, yeah. what do you want to do? I'm going to remove two quirks. So I'm going to spend five gold to have basically a clean slate. Oh, no more quirks? Now we only have four wounds. Okay. Why is I'm clean? So we are... Pretty good. Yeah, the, the, we, we, we are finished. Finished with day one. So, so uh, this is how we finish. So that means after we have spent two days and only two days at the hamlet, we will we are in a much much better position for next uh quest we're not completely okay we are still wounded like uh, uh the jester has four wounds uh the crusader and the vestal have three wounds and the highwayman has two wounds but we have a little less stress uh, i will start with three stress you will start with five, five. uh you will start with uh five stress as well and you and will only have one, one stress. Yeah. So we are better. Uh, we're not quite okay, but we're a little That's better. That's fine. Yeah. We're fine. The main fine. issue is we are still level one. Yeah, because we only got two EXP from the first yes. quest. But that also means that we could take the second one a bit more easy and yeah. uh, just we have secure, yeah. secure one EXP and then come back, level up. Yeah, this is a It'll good point. Good. We haven't spent, none of us has spent any of the XP we have, but we keep them for next time. They, they are cumulative. Uh, and so that means if we get, if we get uh, like three or four uh, XP total, then we are more likely to spend them to either level up our hero or level up our skills. So, this is it, guys. Uh, this is this was uh, the Hamlet phase. So we're ready to to do a new quest. Maybe we won't do it on camera, but we're definitely gonna play it. <laughs> bye bye. See you. See ya.